here with Ahmed Abil, of, uh, the founder and CEO of OMS. Mm -hmm. Ahmed, tell me about OMS. Well, we started the company 10 years back, it was 2001, it was a seed capital of 5,000 US dollars, and we were two at the time, myself and a co-founder, basically. Now we stand to be uh, one of the largest three ICT exporters in Egypt, serving customers in 26 countries across Middle East Africa and South Europe, employing a little bit above 200 of the best-in-class consultants in the region. And what was the gap in the market that you addressed with OMS? Yeah, and we serve corporate businesses, and IT is is no longer a nice to have thing. Actually, since we started, it was never uh, a nice to have thing. IT is a great business enabler. Okay, we help companies to either increase their productivity or enhance their cost structure and maintain more and more control on their businesses. And the array of different services and solutions that we deliver is serving towards these goals. It, it was so clear that there is a significant gap between technology and technology talk and what industries and businesses are looking for. We realize that there is a great need for those solution providers who can bridge the gap between business language, business needs, and what technology has to offer. And what has your biggest challenge been in creating OMS and scaling it? I've gone through all the challenges an entrepreneur can go through, starting from registering a company, getting bank loans, standing in front of enterprise customers who are, not, who are really doubting to deal with a small company. So we have, we have finding the right talents, all these things are a significant challenge that we have gone through. I see, and um, the atmosphere in Egypt right now, I've heard, is getting even tougher for SMEs. That's definitely, yeah. Do you agree with that? I totally agree. Spending has been heavily affected. Receivables has got to be a significant pain for companies as well. So yes, it's economy, economy is putting a lot of pressure on actually, all, 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 all enterprises, not only small and medium. Do you feel like um, public backlash against big business uh, due to the high profile corruption cases uh, plays a role in this? Uh, sorry, no, I guess. Um, do you feel like because of the high profile corruption cases, mm -hmm. um, public resentment of big business makes it hard to be an entrepreneur? Um, well, not really. I mean, entrepreneurship is, there's nothing called it's hard to be an entrepreneur. I mean, if entrepreneur to me is a way of thinking, entrepreneurship to me is, is, is a way of life. And uh, if you're really an entrepreneur, you have been raised to be an entrepreneur, studied, and the climate around you made you that, nothing will stop you. There is nothing, nothing is called, I want to be an entrepreneur, but I can't. Uh, at least this is the background I'm coming from. I see. But what, what do Egypt's entrepreneurs need right now? Mentorship. And mentorship and mentorship. That's it. Where do you go for that? Where do you get mentorship? Yeah. Well, now, post-evolution, this is, this is the positive side of, of, of the revolution, actually. Uh, a lot of people, they really want to, to do something positive for the country more and more excited to support the economy. Uh, I can see several initiatives now to connect successful entrepreneurs, successful executives in local businesses and international businesses, even Egyptian expats, to link them with academia, to link them with students, with young entrepreneurs, and make sure that they really stretch their minds, they stretch their capabilities, and they support them and, and, and their way through. Good, so you're seeing this is on the rise. It is happening. It is happening. And I, I can see it actually a lot of people are taking this initiative. And, and let me tell you, Yeni, entrepreneurs and, and small businesses are not the same thing. Okay, small businesses can be established, just run a company that will grow 10-15% year over year and this is good and this is important for the economy. The entrepreneurs are those who, who are really looking for, for the big things. And those who will deal with challenges and to deal with a challenge, you need a coach 
who give the best out of you, you need a mentor who would influence how you think. And this is, I believe, the most important thing. Coming from the IT industry and the market, the market entry barriers are very low, extremely low. You don't need much of a capital to start. You just need the right idea, maybe the right people around you, and then to have somebody to help you to structure this into business plan, maybe take the first steps. That and when it comes to your own growth, um, what is your plan? Where do you see OMS in the next five, ten years? Well, our, our aspiration is to create a legendary company from the emerging world. We're looking for talents, we're looking for passionate people who are interested to seriously affect businesses in a positive way and to support in creating a legend that is operating from this part of the world, that is globally recognized. And global recognition to us is we will be on and Gartner quadrants, major quadrants, we will be man mentioned in international media as the example of successful IT companies in the emerging world. And to do that, we're offering we're, we're, our, our company's structure around talents from this part of the world, wherein what we try hard to do is to offer those people unparalleled career growth opportunities. This is our interest. Actually, this is the main asset that we can make at this point. We're looking for passionate people. Those who are obsessed about growth. Those corporate entrepreneurs can take this company from where it stands now uh, uh, to the next level. And to do that, you conduct training. You train them. It's training. The very competitive environment that we maintain in our mass. I believe success comes from the company of people around you. The way they think, the way they behave, the way they act, how far they do and what they will do to achieve success. This is what would create real success. I've been, I've been told that the very first days of my first mentor, if you want to educate somebody, put him in a big challenge and support him from the back. And this is what we really do with our team members. Great. And how, what impact do you think this will have on Egypt's economy or the economy of the region if you can succeed? Well, I mean, well, we have people who are getting into the company. The way we scale together as a team, as in terms of knowledge and impact, it's not only for those who will join the company, when we grow in headcount, definitely, but also the impact that we do on our families and the community around us. And we're so much serious in giving back to the emerging market, which is where we are from. Because, so, the number of the thousands of, of hours that we're giving back to the community, okay, as in terms of projects or activities with NGOs, to make sure that we're really creating further level of impact beyond jobs that we're creating in the company. Great. Thanks for chatting with WAMDA TV and I look forward to seeing you succeed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.